Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about the basic proportionality theorem. This theorem is an important theorem or topic na pag-uusapan natin kasi kailangan natin knowledge about this when we talk about similar triangles. So before I mag-start ng aking discussion, I want to give a big shout out sa Santiago National High School from General Trias Cavite. Again, shout out po sa lahat ng mga sudyante at shout out sa lahat ng mga teachers na nagtuturo sa school na ito. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. So, again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at ihit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. So, basically guys, before we start this kind of topic and then ito may may expect me dito ah i will discuss the theorem itself and in the next part of our video i will give you a practice test para mas maintindihan niyo lalo yung gamit ng basic proportionality theorem so basic proportionality theorem states that if a line intersects two sides of a triangle and is parallel to the third side then it divides the first two sides proportionally. So, sir, anong ibig sabihin niya medyo mahirap intindihin yung theorem? So, I'm here to explain what is meant by basic proportionality theorem. Let's say, for example, we will say that we have the given triangle A, B, C. And we will assign point point D and point E be on point D be on side AB. So, lagi natin dito sa side A, C, point D. This is point D. And point E is on side AC. So, again, we have triangle A, B, C. And yung point D natin is on side AB of the triangle of the first side. And the point in natin is on the second side, which is side AC. So, if we connect them, if connect, connect natin to, as you can see, uh, we have two small triangles, pero later, sana natin pag-usapan yan. And if ang, pag, pag nangyari na these two sides are parallel, again, if these two sides are parallel, then, sabi dito, it divides the first two sides proportionally. If ganito yung case natin, we can create a proportion which is AD or side AD this AD over DB is equal to AE over AC. Ayun yung pinaka-ibig sabihin ng ating uh, basic proportionality theorem. Review ko lang ulit ha. Given the original triangle ABC and point D is on side AB and point E is on side AC and kapag kinunak mo yung mismong dalawang points na yan, they will create a line and then if this line is parallel to the third side of your triangle, then this side or this line divides the first two sides proportionally and we can create this kind of proportion AD side AD over DB is equal to side AE over side EC. So in the next part of our video, I'll be giving you examples wherein those are practices na may isip natin, ah, ito pala yung purpose ng basic proportional. Now for the examples of basic proportionality theorem, we have here given triangle A, B, C. We have triangle A, B, and C. D and E are points on the sides. So as you can see, our point D is on side A, B, while your point E is on side A, C. And then respectively, such that D, E is parallel to B, C. So declared na dito that this side DE is parallel to BC. Meaning, applicable talaga sa kanya yung basic proportionality theorem wherein we can create a proportion that AD, this AD 
over VB is equal to the ratio of AE over EC. Okay? So here's the problem. If AD over DB is equal to 3 over 4 and AC is equal to 15 centimeters, find AE. So in this problem, alamin muna natin alin, alin yung mga given natin at ano yung nawawala. So AD is equal to 3. Sabi raw AD is equal to 3. Your DB is equal to 4, right? Tapos yung inyong AE, find the AE, meaning, so gamit tayo ng variable to represent the missing, uh, the missing unit or quantity. So you have X, while your AC, this whole side AC, is equivalent to 15. And the Y equal to 15. Okay? So ngayon, paano ngayon natin nahanapin si AE? So I think, ito yung discovery rito. So given natin is that AD is equal to 3. Ulitin lang natin. DB is equal to 4. Your AE is X kasi nawawala siya. Eh sir, paano ngayon natin i-represent si EC? Ito yung EC natin. This is your EC. So to represent EC, kasi wala naman tayong ano dito, AC dito. To represent your EC, ang gagawin mo lang is to subtract AE from the length of EC. It will become, yung EC natin, it will become 15 minus your AE, which is X. Okay? So basically guys, um, if meron na kayo nito, you can use this proportion and substitute the values. Pwede nyo yung substitute ang values natin. Wherein, your AD is equal to 3. That is 3. Okay? That is 3. Tapos, yung, yung DB is equal to 4. And your A is equal to X. So that is equal to X over yung, yung EC, which is equal to 15 minus X. And then, you can cross multiply. Cross multiply natin. This will become 3 times. 3 times 15 minus X. Pusog na natin ang konting camera. We're in 4 times X is equal to 4X. Simplifying this, you have 45 minus 3X is equal to 4X. Right? 3 times 15 is 45. Your 3 times negative X is equal to negative 3x. And then, we can transpose 3x to the other side and it will give you the new equation, 45 is equal to 4x minus minus, ah, sorry, plus 3x. Okay? We're in, as you can see, we can simplify them and it will become 45 is equal to 7x. So dividing both sides by 7, we have 7. So cancel that in 7. Your x is equal to your x is equal to 45 over 7. Kapag kinalculator natin yung 45 over 7, yung 45 over 7 natin is also equivalent to 6.43. So yung length ng ating yung length ng ating ano, yung ating AE yung nawawala, this one is equal to 6. Point, again, 6.43. Okay? So I hope na clear tayo dun. This is 15. Okay? So, I hope na you learned something from this video and sana, if natuto kayo, you can comment down below kung ano yung magiging uh, reaction nyo about our teaching. And kung meron ka naman mga requested topic na gusto mong i-cover natin sa ating channel, you're, feel free to comment down below kung anong topic yung gusto mo. So, again, maraming salamat sa inyo. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm teacher gone. Marami marami salamat. Bye-bye.